Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. And yes, I'm still going with this base. It's uh, we're up to cycle 3338 here. And I've done a lot of digging. So if we zoom out here, we can see what's been dug out. And pretty much everything is dug out now. Except for some of these seams between some of the hot and cold zones. So I'll do the thermal overlay here. Got a really hot pocket up here. I left this warm so that we could get a uh, pinch of pepper nut growing naturally. Same thing with over here. And I've left these areas cold because there's some natural sleet wheat growing. And same with all this area in here. And then there's a hot area right beside the base where I grow pinch pepper nut as well. And then oxygen is pretty much contained. This room here is actually not used for anything. I just sealed off some blocks, some areas, because I didn't want oxygen kind of floating out into space. Or not space, but the rest of the area. And we've got a lot of kind of low density CO2 here that's not really making its way to the slickster. So I kind of want to redo something with my slickster farms. I kind of want to bring them up to an area near the top here. Maybe right below this hot room here, because it's kind of warm. I'm thinking of putting them here, and then the dupes don't have to run all the way down to the bottom of the map to to deal with them. So I put in some other structures and systems and stuff. There was things always going wrong with this area, so I kind of redid it. I've got uh, hot water that comes out of this steam vent. There's a buffer storage here. And that goes off and that feeds our showers. Actually, we don't have showers anymore, just the toilets and the sinks. And it's all abyssalite pipe so that the temperature doesn't leak out. And then what's going on here? All the wastewater from the sinks and toilets flows back. That's what feeds our pinch pepper nut. And right now they don't have water, but every time they flush the toilet, these get watered. And I was struggling to keep the temperature just right in here. So there's some automation in here now. So if it goes, if the temperature is above 60 degrees in here, um, these both feed into an ore gate. So if we look at the automation, they flow into an ore gate here. So if it's 60 degrees here or here above, then this cooling loop kicks in. Let's just see here. That's connected to this. And then got some wheeze warts in here. It's minus 60 in here. And that just pumps oxygen uh, through this little loop here. So it comes down here, it goes into radiant, radiant piping, cools this area down and then it also cools down the water a bit because it was getting a bit warm in here, but this is probably not necessary because all these wheeze warts here keep it nice and cool. These are here mainly to condense the steam that comes out of here. I was also have, has, having pressure issues with the this cool steam vent, so now it condenses and kind of dribbles back down. And that's been working pretty well for the last, I'd say, 500 cycles without issue. It's got a little too cool over here for these wild pinch pepper, but we're not really... As for, last time I checked, we weren't having any issues with pinch pepper. Let's just see here. Uh, I want cooking ingredients. Actually, we're out of pinch pepper at the moment. But we got lots of food. So if you look at the food, um, I used up almost all the slime on the map. So we got a big influx of fried mushrooms. But that's going to slowly go away. And then we're going to be left with stuffed berry and bristle berry they really need to convert into stuffed berry and they're slowly doing that once we get little bits of pinch pepper nut coming out i could extend this we could put in some showers to make more wastewater but for now it's working fine and i'm still trying to get the food actually down uh, i did some stuff in the top right hand corner of the base oh there's a lot of cooling here now all these Weezworts, they're from uh, the ice planet. I used a bunch of rockets to get them. Oops, I've since dismantled my rockets, but... So it's a little bit too warm here for these, these sleet wheat. Oh, and the game saving now takes a very long time. There's just so much stuff on the map. So we'll just hopefully make it through here without crashing. There we go. So the polluted oxygen that comes out of here is super hot. We're sending it down, down this way in a bis-like pipe. 
it's at 100 degrees or so, 125. Comes down here and it dumps right here in a high pressure vent. There is one Weezord here to kind of cool things down. There were more, but it was getting too cold, so one seems to be enough. And then there's deodorizers along here that filter that polluted oxygen, and it kind of flows this way. There's no openings here, so it just kind of flows this way, and then this vent pulls it out. If the pressure... Actually, do I still have regulation on this? Yeah, if the pressure's over 500, it just kind of pulls it out of there. And that's just, like, supplemental oxygen to the base. We don't really need it, but... Oxygen's been fine for a very long time. Haven't had any issues. There's so many oxygen supply lines. Like I probably said in previous episodes, we got oxygen being made up here. There's two electrolyzers. We just put the UI back on. Two electrolyzers, four pumps, and a nullifier. So that keeps the oxygen nice and cool. That's all backed up because we have so much. And that's duplicated down here in this left hand corner and then it's also duplicated down here so lots of nice cool oxygen supply and we're using both polluted oxygen vents so there's the one I just showed you and then there's another one here but this one has a slime lung in it so it has to be clean so what I do is I pump it into the storage here and the storage is sitting in chlorine gas uh, and the germs die off in this uh, container here. And I have it on a clock sensor. So a little period of the day, it opens up and it pulls the clean oxygen out. Sends it down this way and dumps it out here to be deodorized. Now I'll have to deal with the CO2 that's been collecting here. This is from the dupes. Uh, this area is all sealed in to the base. Or is it? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and they exhale and a little bit of CO2 builds up here and then I've got some a, a vent here that just dumps the CO2 here and it kind of floats down this way, which is all sealed in. So what I really should do is send this off to my slickster room to be consumed. And I, like I said, I want to I want to move my slickster room up so the dupes don't have to run around as much. I don't think I did much else, uh, but I did let the game just kind of run for about, I don't know, 1200 cycles or something since the last episode, 1300. These mushrooms are long gone just because there's no slime left. Oh, there's little bits of slime, but actually I should probably dig this out. There's no sense uh, keeping that there anymore. And let's speed things up. And yeah, all, there's not enough CO2 down here for these slicksters, so what I want to do is pump all CO2 that comes from various places and put it in a proper slickster room. But i got to be careful to keep the slicksters warm enough, because I'm not quite sure at, at what temperature they die. So like I said, I'll probably put that over here and have a ladder, because I want them to be in exosuits when they go in there. So maybe I'll start roughing that out here. Go back to slow speed for a moment. Use a plastic ladder. And I'll put a four-story room in here. And I want it to be sealed, so I'm going to use a, a, a liquid lock. What should I use? Maybe I'll use metal. I've got tons of metal, so that'll increase the decor. So I'll put a little liquid lock right here. Let's just see. I think it'll be like this. Something like that, and then maybe I should drop it down one, just so it's kind of flush. Actually, that should be fine. And then we need a floor. Actually, that shouldn't be metal, because I want it to stay... I'll probably have to heat it up to keep it warm for the slicksters. So maybe I'll actually use a bisolite. Let's just see here. Yeah, let's use a bisolite. Because we want to maintain that temperature. Keep it nice and toasty. And maybe I'll drop it down a bit here. So we have a liquid like liquid lock like this. Four stories high. 
And that might not be big enough, so I might have to take this out. Hmm. Oh, I can put a second floor in if it's not if it's not big enough. So then we need a bottle emptier. Stick that there. And the top of the liquid lock. I should probably put a an emergency. What should I call it? Uh, emergency airlock. Maybe on this side. Mm, yeah, I'll just leave it like this. I think it should be fine. And we're gonna need all the regular uh, grooming station. Got lots of iron. I'll use iron here. Maybe put it in one. And a critter drop off. Got some serious lag. Stick that in there. Oh, and I have to get rid of this. I don't want them running all the way around, so I'm gonna put the ladder down here. Take out these paintings. And really, I should straighten out this wall because it's kind of kind of lopsided. I extended my storage, as you can see. Most of these storage containers are of one type. I don't know if that helps the lag or not, but. It's like that was coal, this one's dirt, etc, etc. And we're chewing through the uh, minerals. There's not... There's uh, 1,400 tons of igneous rock left. We've fed all the sandstone to the hatches. There's no sedimentary rock. And eventually, long term, we'll work, the way, work our way through all that stuff. Okay, I'll just put this ladder up here. So we'll get that all set up, and then we need to send the CO2 there, so I'll start building out CO2 piping. Which is going to be a little bit messy. Okay, there's a pipe here. Wow, I'm just sending that... What am I doing here? I'm sending the CO2 back into the room. That's because I got this other vent down here that gets rid of it when it gets too high, but I think what I'll do is I'll send it straight through. Wow, this piping is a bit of a mess. Okay. Where should I go? Where should I move this stuff? Uh, maybe I'll work backwards here. So we'll have a high pressure vent in here. I'll come back this way. Just go straight through. And I'm going to need another... Whoa, don't crash on me, game. Yeah, saving takes a while. Maybe I'll go slow speed while I rough all this stuff out. Oh, I should probably come across this way instead. It's going to be an extra long pipe. But we have the materials, so that's okay. Let's come across there. Actually, I don't even have to go that way. But I will. We have to get over to here. We're going to have to have, have a bunch of bridges, so I might as well just do that now. We got lag. I'm gonna pause while I do this. Okay. Come across this way, go up that way. I could do it just across here. This is a bit of a mess. Okay, let's go. We're going in reverse here though. So that's gonna go there. Like that. Like that. <laughs> So many things to cross over here. It's a mess. Okay, so then the CO2 will come this way. And that was going down before, so we can get rid of all that. And just send it straight through. So I gotta dis, dis, uh, deconstruct some stuff here. Probably get rid of all this here. And hopefully the Slicksters are able to consume all the CO2 we're outputting. I think they will be able to. But I should do it at a higher 
priority or they'll never get around to it. So this will come out. And all the stuff that's going down, down to the uh, bottom will come out. So this CO2 line from the power stuff will come out here. Bridge, 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 and then up here to our sixth room. Get rid of that. And I'll let them build that out because it's going to take a little, a little while, and then we'll be right back. So I'm actually going to have to have a um, mesh tile floor here so the oil from the slicksters can drop down, and then underneath it we'll have a sealed room. I guess I, I'm going to need a ladder there. A sealed room just for the uh, petro or petroleum and oil to kind of collect in. So how am I going to do that? I'll probably just come down this way. And I'm using abyss light just to keep the temperature all good. Maybe just like that, actually. Start that oil flowing in. Get some ladders in here so they can get down and build this. Like so. And then this actually has to be a room, so I'll put a mesh pneumatic door in. Put a couple in. Put in that last tile for the liquid lock. So slicksters will go here. I'll probably need a double sized room and I'm going to need to pump this out eventually. So put a liquid pump in there. We got lag. We got serious lag. There we go. Okay. I'll probably just pipe it through here. That's an that's gonna need power and everything, but I'll hook that up after. So mesh tile, the bottom here. Right to there, I guess. So I'm gonna let the oil accumulate until we get a thousand kilograms in the bottom tile and then maybe 300 or 400 in the top tile. That should seal it up nicely. And then how's our CO2 line coming? It's not fully, it's not connected yet. So once the liquid lock is full, we'll connect up that line, fill this room with CO2. And I might have to vent out the oxygen at the top. We'll see. Just to have this all CO2. Now most of the dupes are idle, so there's there's, uh, as long as there's enough exosuits, they get stuff done pretty quickly. So the, that CO2 is flowing that way and backing up. And then there's CO2 that comes out of this petroleum generator just into the air. So that's going to eventually fall to the bottom here and then we'll collect it. It'll come down here and we'll fuse it into this line up here probably. Maybe I'll just take it up and merge it right here. I might I might need to build some kind of double bridge to fuse those two lines together, but let's just see if it'll do it nicely without any out any uh, extra stuff. And then this line can come out, and that'll make it much cleaner. There's no CO2 line down here anymore, except for this little thing, which is just pulling CO2 out of here. So these guys would eventually die, but we're going to try to move them all up, up to the very top. And I'll be back once that's all done. Okay, so I don't want I don't actually want the, uh... Oh. Actually, this is not as stable yet, because it's too... Too big at the moment. What I'll probably do is just put a... Do I want a door here? I don't want the uh, slicksters kind of falling down here. But if I put a door here, it's going to make this really small. But I think I will put a door here. Let's just see. And how much oil do we have here? It's slowly filling up. That's probably enough, but I'll just let them put a little bit more in. And it's a sealed liquid lock now, so I can 
start pumping the CO2 in. So let's do a high pressure vent. Actually, it doesn't need to be high pressure, but I'll do a high pressure anyway. Just to keep the room super pressurized, keep those slicksters happy. And then I got to pick slicksters here for the drop off. And molten slicksters, that's okay too. But I think we're potentially cooking. I can't remember whether we're destroying the molten slicksters or not. I'll do this at priority eight, just so they move all those guys up here quickly. Okay, we got enough liquid in here, so I'm gonna disable these. Make a little bit of spillage here. <laughs> Now we should have a proper stable. 76 tiles. That's pretty good. We'll extend it later to maximize this the area. And then down here, we'll make it so that we move these guys out if there's more than one. Actually, I wonder if zero works. Zero does work. Okay. Priority eight. Do the same settings over here. That should get them moving them all out of there. And maybe get rid of the grooming station. Get rid of that. Actually, we need that. <laughs> maybe I should just wrangle them. It's probably easier. Yeah, I'll just take this out. Take this out. And then just manually wrangle them. And that should bring them up to the top. And then we might have to bring their eggs up as well. So, wrangle those guys. Cannot wrangle. Hmm. We might have to trap them instead. That's not a problem. We can make traps. Could probably use the auto wrangle feature. Actually, let's just try it. I'll see if it works. Crater drop off. We'll stick those back in there. And then we'll see if the auto wrangle actually works. Um, I'll be back after they build that. Actually, they're going to build it pretty quickly. Let's see. That's done. Okay, let's try this again. Auto wrangle. Hatch, hatchling, max zero. Copy those. Now they should pick them up, move them upstairs. As long as there's a place for them to go. They should be wrangling them. But they're not doing that yet, so we might have to just trap them. Bring them up top. That's all good. Oh, we got CO2 building up. That's good. Things are flowing again. Now we have to connect this line. This is excess CO2 from the base. This has to come through and join this line here. After we lag during the save here. Okay, that's good. Let's just take care of that as well. I'm going to need a... Probably need a couple bridges here just to join those together. Ooh. Come on, scroll. There we go. So how, do I, how do I want to deal with this this way? We'll just build two on top of each other. This will come in here. That'll go in there. And these will both merge and go out. That should work. Priority. Oops. Yeah, they're getting it done. There we go. That's working. Nice. Okay. 
Do we have any slicksters here yet? No, we're just gonna trap them because I don't think they're auto wrangling them. The auto wrangle feature doesn't seem to always work. Maybe it's because the priority's too low. But whatever. What we'll do is we'll just take. They're, hey, they're still wrangling them even though there's no grooming station. That's weird. Okay, we'll do traps. Put four there. I think there's six in there, so... Get those built. Get those, and then we'll have to move the eggs up. And I'll skip ahead once they've moved them all to the top, because it's going to take a while. Okay, they are moving them. They got their first one there. There goes another one. And another. Are oh, we're going to need more traps here. I think there's at least four in there. Oh, there's some traps already there. One, two, three, four. That should be enough. Almost, yep. There they go. They're all going up to the top. Now I can take out this vent here. This is no longer needed. It's not really doing much, except moving CO2 from here to here. Priority 5 is fine. They'll just do it when they're not busy. And maybe I'll just let the eggs hatch and then we'll trap the ones. We'll leave a few extra traps. So there's two eggs there. That should be a couple traps. And then up here there's... No eggs. But just in case they lay some, we'll do a couple traps here. So that's that little project pretty much done, I think. We got some CO2 trapped here. And that's fine. Just leave it there. Now I'm skipping past the, uh, the cycle end just because it takes so long for the game to save. So let's see how things are going up here. Not quite enough CO2 yet. It'll eventually uh, accumulate in there though. Oh, they're eating it all, that's why. Now for now, I'm gonna put a little airflow tile, a couple of them up here, that way the oxygen will flow out. And then once the CO2 gets up to a certain level, we'll just seal that up. Overcrowded, glum, elderly, okay. I don't want to destroy any of my natural pinch pepper, so maybe I'll leave those there. And if they can't deal with all the CO2 we're setting them, I'll put another room down here, I think. We'll just see how this goes. Oh, and we got a... We got a larva here for a long hair slickster. We don't want any long hair slicksters, so... I'll just stick an egg cracker right in there. And we'll just destroy those as they're laid. I did want to do a few other projects. I was considering building a giant... Uh, oxygen storage room. That would use a high pressure vent. And then from that high pressure room, send the oxygen into the base. And that would allow us to do a little bit more even flow and kind of uh, make sure our electrolyzers are working kind of nonstop and provide an emergency buffer if anything went wrong. So I'm just gonna select this egg here. Uh, we want... Uh, I don't think I'm going to make any more petroleum either from molten slicksters, so we'll turn those into eggs, and I'll do the same. I'll put a second cracker in here, and we'll get rid of the long-haired slicksters as well. They're really gobbling up that CO2, so that's working 
working pretty well. So these will be long hair slicksters. Priority seven, I should probably make this priority seven as well. So I'd actually do it. And I don't have any petroleum being made at the moment. I think I disabled that. Actually, it's it, the pipe is blocked because we're not actually burning the petroleum. So eventually the oil will actually stack up. We have just we just have so much power. We have all this natural gas here. And we got this buffer here. We could just burn natural gas to make more polluted water. I could take on more dupes as well, even though it's going to cause more lag. I think I'll turn the turn the printing pod back on. And we haven't taken on dupes forever, but I think I'll take some more on because we got lots of oxygen. Food, we're going to have to extend food for sure. This is not enough for all the dupes, I don't think. And we're gonna have to grow more pinch pepper. So I might need a source, I might need to use this polluted water here. That's coming from the natural gas to uh, grow pinch pepper. And I'm gonna skip ahead past the cycle save because it's so slow. Oh, I just noticed we have all this CO2 building up here, liquid CO2. Oh wait, it's crude oil. Where is this crude oil coming from? Oh no, wait a minute. Do I still have this thing here? Oh no. <laughs> Turn this off. A bunch of oil building up in here. That's not good. Okay, clean up on aisle five. We'll just mop this up. Hopefully it's not too much. Okay, good. Now I've got this extra water here. This is just used to cool down regolith. This is all regolith in here. 33 degrees. I used a bit of the water, but it's all cut off now. And I've got like a hydrogen cooling system up here. I don't think I showed you guys this before. This room is just a cold room, and it's just for more regolith. And it was super cold, so I can probably put even more in there. The regolith comes in at like 250 degrees or so. Just fill that in. We don't really need it, but... And then the second room here is a cooling loop. So this just cools down the hydrogen vent because it gets pretty warm. It's coming out at 500 degrees. And I actually do use this hydrogen when it builds up for power. This is a prim primary power actually, and then I think natural gas is secondary. So the battery settings here are 94 and 79, and then natural gas kicks in a little bit lower than that. And maybe I should just be burning natural gas for for the heck of it. Got too much oil in here. Hmm. We'll just let it dribble out and then we'll mop it up, I guess. Oh, end of the cycle. I'm gonna skip ahead. So instead of just wasting the power, what I think I'm gonna do is make this a giant oxygen storage room, since I already have a, a room here. And what I'll do is I'll pump all the oxygen, all sorts of oxygen will go in here with a high pressure vent. And then we'll have a series of pumps that extract the oxygen to supply the base. Now this is going to be a big project because there's a lot of oxygen supply lines. But uh, I think it'll be better overall. It'll give us a buffer. And it's a bit of a make work project, but I think it'll be a good thing to do. So it'll, we'll, it'll all go here. And then we'll have a series of... Uh, pumps that bring the gas out of here. Crater starvation. Oh, that's just the, uh, that's just the slicksters. Okay, I gotta copy my settings here. Let's do that. So let's do that. This, uh, I gotta decide where I'm gonna have all the input lines. But I should probably build the output lines first. So we'll have a series of pumps in here. I'll build them out of gold, put them on the bottom floor here. And I'll leave some room for wheeze warts. 
we'll build six for now. And then these supply lines, I'll just dump into this room. So I can probably do that right here safely. So in the beginning, I'll just take some of the supply. So this will go up here. And this will come up here. Bridge. High pressure vent. And let's do abyssalite. That way we can condition the air as well. We could have it just the right temperature before we send it into the base. Like keep this nice and warm in here. Okay, that's gonna slowly branch off here. And we gotta cut this open so they can actually get in there. And I'll just put a regular airlock. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. And we're gonna need power, so let's see where my power circuit is. Oh, I got my my main line here, so I can just branch off that. Do a uh, what should I call it? Power transformer. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take this out. What, what's in here? Ice. Deconstruct that. I think this is all ice here that just melts in here. Yep. So, can use this water as well. I could centralize all the electrolyzers as well. That might work. But I kind of like how they're being cooled by these nullifiers. We have so many Weez warts we could do some crazy cooling, but... So, I'll let them build that out. That'll take some time. Get an airlock in here. And this one I'll want to power, just so it keeps all this oxygen in here. Okay, how much power do I have on this line? 1.83, yeah, we can put a little bit more on that. Once they build all this out, we can uh, deconstruct it all. Maybe I'll stick the transformer inside. Actually, I'll just put it right down here. Okay, power. Transformer, gold. Put the heavy watt wire on, this, on that side. Let's use gold, we got lots of it. That goes there. And then conductive wire. Up this way. I might need to build a ladder here. Are they going to be able to reach up there? I don't think they will, so I'll go this way. And along here. Actually, we don't care about decor in here. And this has no decor effects, so let's do that like that, straight through. So then I'll have to get the oxygen from over here. Oh, we got cycle end. So I'll grab the oxygen from over here. That's going down that way. We'll bring a line up this way. And maybe over this way. Yeah, I'll come up this way. That's going to be a very long, long pipe, but that's okay. And I'm going to skip the cycle end because the lag here, and we'll be right back. So we got the pipes kind of laid out here. Just need some bridges. Stick a bridge there. This is coming from the bottom left oxygen. Way down here. And for now, I'll just branch off here. And go like this. Actually, with a bridge, it's gonna take 100% of it, I think, so. Which line is that? Is that a, a suit line? Oh, that is the suit line. Actually, we don't want to hook that up just yet. So that'll go that way. That'll take a while to build. They're going to need a ladder, I think, to build some of this other stuff. They'll be able to build that. Oh, we got to let them... They can build that. That's all buildable. In here, they're going to have to go inside. 
So I had this sealed up, but we'll just open that up. It's just a box. It's not really... It's not really doing anything. So it'll come through here. Exhaust into here. Oh, and they still have lots of stuff to build. But you can probably see where I'm going with this. This will be a high-pressure oxygen room. And we're going to waste a bunch of power pulling it back out and sending it into the base in nice little clean lines. And we'll probably do some filters just for the exosuit docks, maybe. And I'll skip ahead once they've finished building all this stuff. It's going to take a while. What priority did I do that all? Priority 7. Yeah, they'll get around to it. Food has been going up, that's good. Food's not an issue yet. How are we for dupes? We're gonna about to get another dupe. Now if we look at jobs, all these dupes are super dupes. I think I've trained them through every single roll, so they've got some pretty good stats. Not all of them are great at construction. Construction zero. Oh, they probably can't even build. But stats are pretty good. Most of them have uh, max athletics. So, any new dupes are going to be super slow. <laughs> Our hatch farm, it's been going pretty well. It's all automated. Well, not completely automated. They still have to come in here and groom them. But other than that, it's... Bring supplies to them. Uh, it doesn't take the coal away, though. It just leaves the coal in the ground. We could send it down to our coal power down here, but coal's been going up and up and up. So if we look at consumable ore, coal, 1,300, oh, 1,400 tons of coal. And we're not even burning it. We do have coal generators down here, but we're not even burning it because we've got so much natural gas. Yep. How are their slicksters doing here? Oh, they're pumping the oil out like crazy. They're so happy. They're eating the carbon dioxide faster than we can feed it to them. That's good. Oh, someone's having a nap. Do they get stuck in there? No. Oh, hungry. Oh, they're not stuck. I thought they were stuck for a second. There they go, building away. And I wonder if I'll finish this off. I don't think I'll finish this this ep episode. I'll, next episode, I'll do it. Now, it's two weeks away from the next uh, expansion upgrade. So that means that maybe the preview, uh, there might be something in preview tomorrow or the day after. So I'll keep an eye on that. I'll do a little video if there's new stuff. But I'll continue this series. I want to get to cycle 5,000, maybe even 10,000. Uh, it might be difficult because the game's going to get updated in two weeks, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Everything is pretty much stable here now, so it could run without any intervention, I think. Dupes are pretty happy. I think I might need more pinch of pepper nut, so I'll probably put in a room for that. And I might just burn natural gas uh, wastefully just to make more polluted water. I'll have to heat it up though, so I might use the petroleum or something to heat it up. Generally the map is pretty cold. Oh, and we got lag. Well, we save here. Don't crash, game. Okay, there we go. Generally the map is pretty cold. Let's just take a look here. Whoa, too much. Too much zoom. Yeah, generally the map is cold. The base is even a bit cold. So we have the reverse problem of... Most people have uh, their base kind of overheat, but... It's pretty stable. And then we'll be able to condition the air in this new oxygen room. Get it to a nice temperature before we send it into the base. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, just trying to push the game's limits here. Do some new projects, take on some more dupes. I'm a little bit worried to take on more dupes, though, because the lag could get really bad. 
But I hope you enjoyed that. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.